Hey everybody, I am back. Guess where I'm at? I am back at the place where the trailer was tipped over. <sighs> yeah, so I guess they do a lot of loads coming to, um, what is this? Uh, Iowa? Hold on, let me look, I'll tell you. I be forgetting sometimes, I go to so many places. Oh, Muscatine, Muscatine, Iowa. Yeah, on Isaac. What is it? I said Avenue. I'm pretty so much this back at this place. Yes, I am. Hopefully, we won't see you no know, tipped over trailers today. And hopefully, oh yeah, this is a place where all my stuff fell down. Bumpy ride, man. This TV I from um Walmart, right? This TV and straight out the box, the goddamn TV is um broke. I mean, like screen cracked and every damn thing. So, I'm going to have to take that sucker back. Right. I'll be back, y'all. So, pretty much got to go into this goddamn shipping office. Got to have your order number or pickup number ready. Sometimes ID definitely bring a pen. So, all right. We got our trailer number and our tag. So now we just pretty much gotta go and find it. Yes. Gotta go and find. Look at my sexy truck, y'all. That joint is sexy. Woo, 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 woo. Look how I got the, the uh, arch in it. Putting arches in cars and trucks. That just gives it much more of a sexy look. All right, y'all, we're gonna do this one more time. Cause obviously the last time my magnet was acting up. I mean, I'm sure it's still gonna be bumpy. But let's just hope because all the dents and crap, I don't get further more stuck. Cause obviously now you got dents and holes. Bad enough is holes, then ice on top of that. Yeah, that might not be a good look. And this truck better watch his roll before you get ran the hell over. Come on, dude. There you go. On the beat. Start this shit today. You know what I'm All right, y'all. So we gotta drop our empty where we dropped it at the last time. Then we gotta find trailer one one six five four five. Let me look over here so I know if I have to come back. I don't see one one six five four five. All right. So hopefully this trailer is gonna be where I have to drop it. This is tight too. I think it's train tracks where you bend around here. Bending. Ooh, gotta be careful coming around this piece, man. This shit is tight. All right, so you go, you go around the bend, across the train tracks, make a left, stop at the train tracks, stop, there you go. We I'm sleepy, man. This cold weather really drains you. I guess that's for people that's anemic. Yeah, my blood, I have low blood. So, and it gets, oh crap. Oh, I gotta, uh, let me lock my hood real quick. Definitely want to lock that. I forgot to lock it back when I um, did my pre-trip. <laughs> that for a separate video because I learned I learned two things at Love's but I'm not gonna spill the beans on this video I'm gonna save it for a separate video in itself all right so you make the left then you bear right you bear right where you see all the colorful um, cargo um, trains on your left so make sure not to hit anything turn right there you go absolutely lovely and then the turn right and then another left so it's like it's like you turn it's like left left right left so you got a lot of lefts and trying to get to the back of this yard to drop empty and maybe find your loaded trailer my 
magnet holding up pretty decent. Alright, I can dig it. So, hopefully I can get it out this time. Last time, it, it was really just kind of rough if y'all watched the last video about the tipping over trailer. That was a rough, that was a rough day, not gonna lie. It's still bumpy as hell. Of course, the bumps don't change. But uh, I make sure my stuff is secure and my stuff ain't falling all over the place like last time. I learned from my lessons. Trust and believe that. Trust and believe. Okay, one thing fell. Well, one thing ain't bad compared to a bunch of shit that, that fell last time. So down here, you make your right into the entrance. This is the part where I was talking about, man, motherfuck me. Like straight ahead is where we're gonna exit. But this is where I was talking about the scale. Like every every goddamn ship should have a much sucking scale. Uh, they discriminate with favorites. Oh, because I ain't no tanker. I can't give you y'all a little stinky scale. Bump y'all then. And they put a trailer in front of it so to make sure people don't use it. It's all good. It's all good. Why you gotta use your little pump trailer? video about me being stuck up here complaining to y'all about it so I avoided that mm -hmm. all right now I'm making the right turn and I got some easy spots where I can put this trailer look straight ahead you see straight ahead two spots all I gotta do is you turn you turn around pull up back in but this, this place is icy too so I'm definitely gonna have to be careful So the one trailer we gotta pick up is 116, 116, 545. So, uh, yeah. So now I just gotta turn around. Oh man, this parking lot ain't no better. Oh, they still got the tip down trailer. I guess they gonna leave that joint like, like it is, huh? Look at it. Wait a minute. Matter of fact, I can pull up. Back straight in. But look, they gonna leave that joint like that, man. That's gonna be my landmark for this place. This GD tip down trailer. I'm always, I'm gonna get a close up too. Now that I'm here, I'm gonna get a close up of that of that trailer and show y'all. I mean, I showed y'all last time, but I kind of did a drive by showing. So this time. I want to actually do an up close, in person interview with the tip down trailer. I'm gonna ask a question like, how you tip down, man? You all right? Look like that kind of hurt there. Uh, you need any help getting up? Hopefully you're gonna have to ask your fellow trailer to help you up, cause my little human self ain't got no type of strength to, uh, to help you on up. Cause uh, I don't know how many pounds you weigh, but that's more pounds than I think I can deal with helping you off the ground. So, wait a minute, y'all. I'm back in there. I'll be back. All right. We're going to get an interview with this trailer, y'all. So, look at this crap. Man, I don't know how the hell that happened. But, golly, dog. Be careful when you get under trailers. This is exactly what happened. The landing gear pretty much. I don't know. That is really weird. But <laughs> let me get away from it. The D Wheels had told a story about people getting too close to something and the thing fell over. But this is an up close view of it, of the tip down trailer. So let me stop playing All and get right, back so to my truck. Now we gotta find our trailer. 116. Oh, I don't know how the hell Six zero two five. I hope this ain't a misprint. I don't know. This would be like deja vu. Matter of fact, here go, here go. Here go. I'm stuttering like a bitch. <laughs> here go my trailer right here. Yep. Time to connect. Oh crap! I gotta put the yellow tag on the one I just dropped. Yeah. We need to go back and do that. So. 
All right, so let me, uh, you gotta put the yellow tag on the ones you drop. Like I said, let them know that it's empty. So, um, mm -mm. let me back in the, let me back into the trailer. Be careful, be, make sure you back into the correct trailer. Cause a lot of times I pull up and be back in, into the wrong trailer. I be like, dang it, man. All right, there we go. Hold up. Hold that. Wait a minute. Gotta fix yourself. You gotta pull up just right to be in front of the trailer you need to be into. Mm -mm. All right. I'm gonna have to run across the parking lot to put that tag on. Make sure I do my pre-trip on this trailer. Make sure y'all doing y'all uh, pre-trip loggings for fueling too, guys. Cause like, if you're trying to get your own authority, part of getting your own authority is having correct logs. So if I plan to get my own authority, I definitely have to make sure my logs is correct for the last couple months. So you need to be showing um, on duty time for fueling. So I'll All right, come on y'all, let me show y'all this real quick. I'm gonna show y'all. I mean, it's really it's kind of going to be the same thing out about me getting stuck. Man, a lot of these shepherds are not sorting their parking lot. So, you're gonna have to be. First of all, you do definitely need work boots or some type of boots. I wear my Timberlands. I have my work boots. I got my Puma work boots. But for now, pretty much, I got my Timberlands. You see those ridges? You know, this should be able to fall pretty much. But you still can fall. I don't give a fuck what boot you got, you still can fall. So you see I'm kind of tight in between these trailers and now I'm pretty much stuck on ice having to try to deal with this landing gear. So God, please be careful. Cause you see how I'm going back and forth. If I don't pay attention, guess what? Bust my ass again. So I have to get off here with y'all because I don't want to get caught on camera, feet in the air, ass on the ground. So I'll be back if I can get this thing right. go off. Now a lot of times if you in between them trailers like that and it's super tight, you could just like, just make sure you connect it the usual, make sure everything's good. And um, you can wind the landing gear up just enough to where you can pull off and pull out of the hole. So, but I wind it mine's all the way up. So when I pull out, the only thing I have to do is pretty much um, fix my tandas. So I'm doing my um, pre-trip information now. So, all right, let's see. So let me pull out. I gotta put this yellow tag. I gotta put this yellow tag back on my old trailer too. Yep, so. Uh oh, this load feel kind of heavy. Must be another load of ketchup. Definitely want to fix myself. I put the same yellow tag back on. Oh, man. Hold up, wait a minute. Let me run over here and do this. I'll be back, y'all. Let me straighten myself out so when I go to fix myself, I can slide in a straight back. Keep corner. showing it, but this thing really got me amazed. I ain't even got to get close up on it, get close up on it. Let's zoom in. Hey, that thing, the side swipe, the trailer beside it. Her boss GD. Yeah, damn. I want to know what happened. Mr. Trailer, tell us what happened to you. We could have saved your life, but we wasn't here to save your life. So, rest in peace, GD Trailer. I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh my goodness. Rest in peace, trailer. Rest in peace, GD trailer. Rest in peace. Now we got a slide of tandas. <laughs> Gotta rock this joint. Make it rock. Come on, mother beep. Come on. Come on. Don't tell me this shit frozen. All right, so 
pull up a little bit. All right, that should be good. I know this one's gonna be heavy. I'm gonna put this joint. I'm gonna start off in the eight pole. Like I said, usually like the seventh of eight pole should put you in a ballpark of not too much of having to fix. So I'm already kind of sitting between the ninth pole and the eighth pole. So I pretty much I have to. Um, how can I show this? I have to pretty much back up to put it back in the eighth hole because if I pull forward it's gonna put it in the ninth hole so I gotta back up slow yeah so I'm locked now I'm in the eighth hole so I'm good all right so come on y'all hopefully y'all won't right. hit ninth hole yeah I got to get some fuel man back at this place low long nose At least this ice, at least this ice here is slushy. Man, I would not, I would not drive on this parking lot at night. This is one parking lot that you won't catch me by bringing this truck through at no freaking night. I'll be asking for trouble and driving something like this at night. And icy too. I, I had to kick my own self in the ass for that one. I'm tired of kicking myself. <laughs> I'm tired of kicking myself in the ass for dumb decisions. These dumb decisions gonna have to stop today like right now here right now god dang it playing no games Shoot. i'm tired of looking like a fool and then i have a nerve i have the nerve to actually make a video of myself looking like a fool i'm bold ain't i <laughs> a lot of people ain't ain't gonna show their mistakes or their their fuck ups they're gonna show all the glorified good shit not me. I don't give a fuck. As a matter of fact, I help y'all laugh at because at the end of the day, that's all you can do is laugh, learn from it, and don't do that shit again. That's all you can do. So that's what I do. Some of this shit, though, I ain't gonna front. Some of this stuff don't be funny. The main thing that I can say ain't funny is, is the fucking cheap ass loads messing with my goddamn money. That ain't funny. That's far from funny. I'm still not laughing at that. And I'm still pissed off like a mother beep. Messing with my mother sucking paycheck. Come on, hear the goddamn word. He out here to sit and messing around without making money. Now that makes you look like a fool. You working it hard as hell and getting a company driver and make more than you. That's dumb. That's flabbergastic, bullshit, dumb as hell. It's all good though. It's all good. Things work out for the greater good is all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say to that. Okay, these bumps, I mean, a little bit of stuff is falling, but it ain't falling like it was last time. Last time it was like, God damn it, man. Let another goddamn thing fall on me again. The shit was falling on my head, falling on the dog. Laney was like, man, I'm ready to get off this truck, chick. You don't secure your shit. Only feed me once a day. Take me for walks when you feel like it. Get me off this mother side. I'd rather go back to the pound. You getting on my goddamn nerves, lady. <laughs> make sure y'all um make sure y'all keep y'all receipts when y'all buy stuff. Cause uh the weird thing about the weird it was, thing about it was I wasn't going to buy the, um, you know how like when you buy stuff, they ask you if you want to buy the warranty protection plan, this and that. And usually I say no, but this time for some reason, I got the two year protection. So I'm glad I did because I'm taking that shit right back. How the hell you take a TV out the box and the screen is cracked and all you see is colorful lines. Like, wow, straight out the box. Yeah, me, man. I put my cap on back with y'all. I gotta be cool. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm Nas. You know what I'm saying? I'm Jay-Z. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Ooh, ooh. Richard, 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 Richard. Hold up. Man, I'm gonna have to clean my floor. This salt is, it messes floors, everything. Your boots, your clothes. It's just not fun. So. 
when I get home, I'm taking a lot of stuff off this goddamn truck. This truck gonna be like as if I'm on the train's truck. Shit. This truck gonna be empty, damn it. So in case I'm ready to turn this bitch in, I ain't got a lot of stuff to take off. I can just say, turn this truck in. Like, here, y'all take y'all motherfucking shit. Y'all motherfucking don't wanna pay good for loans. Then you know what? Y'all take this motherfucking truck and show it up whoever ass that he can fit in. Cause I'm sick of y'all shit. Gangsta son. Gangsta homie. That same lady, that same lady from the last time. She's here. I don't know if that's the same lady. It looked like her. Oh, let me get a good look. Yeah, I think that's her. Ooh, I think that's her. I really do think that that's the lady from the last video trailer that tipped over. Yeah. So I guess she seals you up, giving you your paperwork, and say, get the fuck out of here. And I'm like, all right, then, bitch, deuces, I'm out of here. I'm out, I'm out, and I'm out with these heavy-ass loads. It's okay. I bet you this load, I can guarantee you that this load probably going to be heavy. The last one was heavy. I think the last one was close to 44000 How much y'all want? Let's put some money on this. How much y'all want to bet that this load is 44,000 and I'm not going to reveal I'm not going to reveal what it is until the next video that I'm going to make about the two fun facts that I found about loves I'm going to reveal it on that video so put it in the comments section of how much you want to bet that this load is going to be I say between 43 and 44,000 because I really don't know what it is sometimes they tell you on um the pre-plan and all that but this one it was unknown so i don't know how much it's going to weigh so i'm not cheating but this is a heinz load so i guess to say that these loads be majority heavy so let's put some money on it i don't know how if y'all win if i win all right if if y'all going to guess that it is 43 or 44 but i'm saying it's 43 or 44 then we breaking even but if y'all try to say, nah, I ain't going to be that heavy. Wait a minute, how the bet go? Matter of fact, y'all tell me how y'all want the bet to go. And I'll, I'll make it happen. So, leave it in the comment section below how y'all want to do this bet. So we going to bet on this shit. We going to bet. Bet money, bitch. Bet. I ain't calling y'all bitch. But I'm just kind of copying off of Kevin Hart. He be like, he, he be like, he with his homeboys. And they had a ping pong table. And they wanted to play ping pong, but they was drunk as hell. So... He was like, bet. They were like, bet. Bet money, bitch. Bet. 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 <laughs> so bet. Bet money. Bet money on it, homie. So, all right, y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all up. So, I'll be getting back with y'all about the two fun facts I um, found about love. Hopefully, I can remember the name of that one thing. But, all right, y'all. Deuces.